India till 1995 was not receiving any money. You know, uh, people were very skeptical. China was receiving money, and then 2005 onwards, India started receiving very good money. You know, uh, for technology ventures and scale up and all that. So till 2015, the uh, money was upswinging. Basically, it was increasing. Uh, and then uh, every uh, funding has a cycle, right? And uh, so if you don't give exit to the investors, you know, certainly investors will be uh, like uh, not very keen on investing. So I think uh, the our public market uh, scenario was not very strong. If you look at a lot of IPOs which got declared between 2005 and 2015 to 2020, they could not even go forward. And those who went forward, they could not be subscribed. So unless and until we don't have a very good ecosystem of actually uh, public markets, you know, uh, and giving exits to the investors, uh, you know, uh, the this trend will not reverse. Uh, and uh, of course, we all know that today we are talking about funding winter. Uh, but I still feel that uh, you know Indian uh, public markets are still not very uh, robust enough uh, to take care of the startup IPOs. You know there are SME IPOs which I am not very bullish about. But there are main boards where you know you can go and list. Uh, but I think the quality of earnings uh, and the business model maturity is still not there. You know whether you talk of Paytm or whether you talk of Zomato of the world, you know there's a lot of uh, you know transition on a daily basis. Right? We have seen that how Paytm lost almost 42 percent of the wealth in just three consecutive days, you know. And so I think the maturity of business model and the regulation and uh, of course India is a startup capital, but I think still a lot of uncertainties uh, as far as, uh, you know, India is concerned. Uh, Modi is trying his best, but I think uh, we couldn't have had a great ecosystem, uh, you know, what Modi ji has done uh, for country. I think that's amazing because today uh, startup as an asset class, uh, there are uh, close to 15,000 accredited investors, angel investors. You know, when I started investing, there were hardly, maybe, there was not even an angel network, right? And uh, so we've seen that today, there are uh, 80 plus angel networks in the country. Uh, there are, uh, you know, uh, 15,000 plus angel investors. Uh, there are about uh, thousands of venture capitalists. Uh, the good point uh, I want to tell you that uh, the amount of money which has been raised by the venture funds to deploy has actually uh, uh, doubled or tripled. So $80 billion has been raised in the last five years, and out of which $12 billion is still lying with VCs. Uh, you know why? Because they are not able to build a conviction of investing, and because uh, you know of whatever reason, uh, they are not able to commit capital. It's not that the capital flow has come down. It's about making the deals happen. Uh, that has come down because valuations, is one challenge, you know. Uh, if you say my asset is 100 rupees and the deal is only at 40 rupees, then you know it's not that the capital is not there. Capital is there at 40 rupees, but it's not attracting. It's not attracting enough at uh, you know 100 rupees. So uh, we, I hope I was able to give you some perspective. But yes, we sir, can always uh, talk later. Yeah. Okay. All right. Maybe we should give chance to others to yeah, also yeah, ask sir, questions. Sir. Thank you so much. Uh, I see, uh, sir, there. Yeah. Please go ahead.